Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to solve this problem here and we're going to use uh, the methods of Kirchhoff Voltage Law, Kirchhoff Current Law, which is what we've been studying, to pull it off. So you notice it looks a little bit like the last uh, problem that we did, uh, as far as superficially anyway. We have a voltage source, we have a resistor, resistor, resistor. The form of the circuit looks similar, but this problem is actually harder because what we're given, see everything that I've drawn here is what's given to you, right? So a lot of times in your book you'll have a circuit and you'll be told the current through here is called I1, the current through here is called I2, the voltage across this is V sub 3, or whatever. And then you have to use that and you'll be trying to solve for whatever it is you're trying to solve for. Here we have pre-labeled IA going here, IB going here, voltage drop across this resistor is called V0, and we're trying to find these. We're trying to find the value of this current the value of this current and the value of this voltage. That's all we care about. We don't care about anything else in the circuit. That's what we're trying to find. All right, so uh, before we can actually do anything, you really need to have your currents labeled. Because when I look at this drawing, when I look at this drawing for the first time, I don't know how to really proceed to the answer. I mean, much like any other problem, I don't know ahead of time what I'm going to do to get all the way to the answer. I first look and see if there's anything easy to calculate. Uh, I don't see anything easy. I, I don't know what this voltage is. I don't know what this current is. I can't use Ohm's law here. I don't know what this voltage really is across this guy, um, directly anyway. It's not 200 volts because there's a resistor in the way here. So I don't know what this voltage drop really is. So I can't really calculate the current easily. So in the last problem we did, there was a, some stuff given to you, like some voltages given to you and some easy things to calculate. Here we don't have that luxury. So I'm going to really need to write some pure equations. So my first thought is, I have two nodes in the circuit here. I've got this node and this node. And so as we talked about before, if you have two nodes in the circuit, you can write uh, one node uh, for the Kirchhoff current law. You can write one minus the number of equations that you have nodes. So I can write one valid node equation. So I'm going to write a node equation, uh, Kirchhoff current law equation, I should say. I'm going to write one uh, for the top node up there. So I'm going to just write that down, Kirchhoff current law at top node. But when I do that, I realize right away that I don't have any current labeled here. So in purple, I'm going to take it upon myself to label this current I sub s. I need to have something labeled there. And I'm going to pick a direction that I think is true because I think it's coming out of the source in that direction. And I'm going to write all of my equations consistent with the direction that all of the current is labeled on my diagram. That's very important. When you label a diagram, in, um, in a circuit, like a direction of a voltage or if you label a current, then all of your current equations must be written in terms of that, as if that current direction were true, right? And then that way everything's self-consistent, right? So when I write in my node equation, I'm going to really and truly think this guy's coming out, this guy's coming out, this guy's going in, uh, and so on. So let me write that right now. At this node, I have I sub s coming in, so it's negative I sub s. I have I sub a coming out. So that's positive, and I have I sub B coming out. So that's positive, and it's equal to zero. So I stop for a second, I look at it, I say, okay, well, can I do anything here? Well, I don't know what this is, I don't know what this is, and I don't know what this is, so I can't really do anything there. But much like in all problems, you just kind of keep that in your back pocket, and you just keep going. Um, so we have done a node equation up here, but we cannot write any more node equations because we only have two nodes in this circuit. And we know that we can only write one node equation because of what we discussed earlier. So we have to turn to Kirchhoff voltage law. So let's write a Kirchhoff voltage law 